Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a CCNA video practice exam for you today, the return of Ford Card Monty, and some good challenging questions for you here in just a moment. Just wanted to mention one thing that our friends over at feedmore.org are doing. This is an organization that does a wonderful job fighting hunger here in the States. And this year, and in future years, if you're watching this later, uh, they're selling holiday cards. And if this is something you're in the market for and you want to help this great cause out, they do sell them right here on their website. They've got a couple different ones for you to look at. And the donation levels are very reasonable. So, you know, give that a look if you are indeed in the market for some holiday cards. And if you just like to make a donation, so much the better, because they can serve five meals for every dollar they get. Like I said, they do a tremendous job fighting hunger. Let's go ahead and head to today's questions. And actually, today we're playing five card Monty because I've given you five statements. And it's not just true or false. If it's false, I need you to tell me why. Because we can't just stand in front of a router in a room and say, well, that's false. <laughs> you know, uh, we need to know exactly what's going on. So going from top to bottom, here are today's statements. Frame map statements reference the remote IP address and local DELSI. Second, EIGRP uses multicast to the address 224.0.0.10 to transmit routing updates. Third, the enable secret takes precedence over the VTY line password for telnet connections. Fourth, TCP segments and UDP are all associated with the transport layer of the OSI model. And then finally, the term host in an ACL, an access list, is used to refer to a single IP address. If you want to think about your answers for a minute, pause the video now because we're jumping right in. And I know if you've watched my other videos on YouTube or even just a few, you know, I got to throw something in about frame maps. But this is so important. They do reference the remote IP address, the address that uh, we're hoping to reach, and then the local DLC number. Uh, the second statement is indeed true. EIGRP does use multicast, and the multicast address it uses is 224.0.0.10. You want to watch this third one because it's real easy to see the enable secret takes precedence and say, oh yeah, that's true, and then move on to another question. Well, the enable secret takes precedence over the enable password when they come into play, but the enable secret does not take precedence over the actual VTY line password that we've set up for telnet connections, so that one is false. The fourth statement, TCP, UDP, and the term segments are all indeed associated with the transport layer of the OSI model, segments being the form the data has taken at that layer. And then finally, the term host is indeed used to refer to a single IP address. You want to be very fluent, not just with ACLs in general, but especially with the use of the terms host and any when it comes to ACLs. Thanks so much for watching today's CCNA video practice exam. We're going to have a lot more of these four card Montes, uh, just like on that screen in the future. I promise you that. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris Bryant, and thanks for making TBA part of your CCNA success story.